Hi, I'm Heidi from DHI Event Horses, and this is gorgeous DHI. He's a five-year-old, um, fairly inexperienced jumping-wise, but um, today we're hoping to show you a little exercise that gives the horses an idea of jumping a course. It involves uh, a measured distance and change of rein and riding around turns. Um, sometimes this horse can get a little bit brave and keen, uh, so we're just going to be very repetitive uh, with the exercise and hopefully he'll start to relax and enjoy the, uh, the work that he's doing. Okay. The other thing we're going to build in is a small filler. Now this horse has jumped fillers previously, but it's how I would introduce a young horse. <clears throat> so I'll start on the right rein, I think. Oh boy. Again, this horse has got quite a big canter, so all the time he's gaining distance and getting a bit overconfident. But ooh, when he can relax and keep a level speed, he's going to find distance is really easy. So this is our filler. We've got it quite wide either side of the pole so that the horses can see a way forward. Good. Oh. Right, should we stick cross poles in, Jen? So we're going to start this jumping part of the exercise with very small cross poles so that the horse's feet are leaving the floor. He's thinking about staying central of his fences and there is something to jump, but at the same time we're not asking him for too much effort as such so that he's actually concentrating more on his canter and on hopefully staying in the same rhythm and speed to his fences. So we'll start by popping over the pole between the two fillers. I won't go from there. Ooh, good boy. So I'm trying to keep a really almost lazy feeling canter here. Sloppy, that's a better word, a sloppy canter. So it doesn't get too exciting when we get to the fences, hopefully. Oh. Oh. And we'll go again because he's still just a little bit quick and a little bit keen, which is a nice problem to have because he wants to get there and he wants to jump. And I want him to come and be a little bit more relaxed. The other thing with this exercise, it's quite handy because the horses start to read your body weight a little bit. So he's starting to think about landing on the whoop, new diagonal. Hey. And with the small fences, if they make a mistake, which I'm quite happy to let them do, it's not something that they're going to hold against you. Good boy. Again, I don't try and help, I don't try and put them on a good stride. I want them to just come in a regular canter. Good boy. Ooh. Ooh. That's better. Very good. Can we have a little upright rail and the fillers together, please? Okay, so we've added a, a small upright here and we've moved the fillers a little closer together. And all the time with the young horses, once they've jumped them like this a few times, it's really the relevant what's there, hopefully. Oh, steady. Boy. Good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Enjoying this, isn't he? Should we have a back rail on the cross there? Yeah, thank you. 
So we've added a back rail. So we're changing the profile of the fences all the time. And he's now letting me ride him better, much more through around this corner. I'm staying on the fence line. Oh, I'll do that again because that was a rubbish turn I missed. <coughs> nice thing was he let me ride him like that. Good boy. So he's starting to think and listen a bit. So I'm going to ride him better line now. Inside leg, outside rein, regular counter. Good line of approach. Pop. Good boy. And a little steady on the turn. Looking to my next distance. Whoa. Whoa. And although that was a little bit quick, there wasn't another option because we couldn't have added a stride. And actually he was very careful. So we come quiet again. Good boy. Hey. Just keeping the canter as relaxed as we can. Good boy. And we added. One, two. Good boy. Oh, super. Oh. Should we go bigger? So we've added a, a square, more square rocks, so I should say, here in this combination. So this is where you could basically jump this exercise time and time again and alter it as much as you like. Add different colours, different fillers. The principles are the same as riding a course of fences. You want the same canter, rhythm. You want the horses to think about where they're going. Oh, oh clever. So I don't mind if they get deep. The important thing is that when they do get deep, you have a soft rein, so you're not restricting the jump. Good boy. Pop. Good boy. Very clever. Ooh, and he really thought about that then. Let's, whoop, and then we fall apart. Let's counter a circle. Good boy. So we'll try and get a better shot to that little upright. He's still in my outside rein. Inside leg on through the turn. Good boy. Just from the interest of jumping a course, sometimes it's good to just jump a fence, come at it, a little bit of an angled line just on its own. Oh, good boy. Ooh. So we started with poles on the ground. We were cantering a figure of eight. The horse's canter became more regular and more relaxed. We then added the cross poles, we added a little filler, and then we've built the fences as the horse has gained more confidence. And then, just at the end there, just jumping a fence on an angle shows you how this exercise can be quite versatile and you can use it in lots of ways. As long as you make sure when you build an oxer to jump it both ways, you have to have a ground line both sides and it needs to be square on top. But yeah, I think he's quite enjoyed that. Good boy, Georgie.